Hi everyone, my name is Momo with Fast PPT, and I want to welcome you back to the channel. So in this video today, I'm going to share how to make this top tier PowerPoint presentation. You're going to love it. So this is all natively designed in PowerPoint. And so all you're going to need is PowerPoint 2021 or an even later version as well. We'll do the trick because you're going to need the morph transition. Before we get right into it, make sure to subscribe at Fast PPT and hit the bell as well. So you get notified when we drop more top tier PowerPoint tutorials. So let's get right into it. First, we're going to insert a slide and I'm going to delete these text placeholders here and then I'm going to right click on the slot. Then I'm going to click on format background. This is going to allow us to change the background color or we can fill it with a picture or a texture. In this case, for this demo, we're going to insert a picture and we're going to click on picture or texture fill and we're going to click insert. Now I have a background picture that's already ready to go. So we're going to insert it. And now you'll notice that we have a slide with a dark background. Next, I'm going to click insert and then I'm gonna to proceed to insert a picture directly into the slide. And I've prepared five images here. So I'm gonna insert my first picture. And then after I insert this image, I'm going to change its crop. I'm gonna do this by going to picture format. I'm gonna click on crop then aspect ratio, and I'm going to choose 16 to nine. And then I'm going to make the image larger to make sure that it's covering the whole slide. Now we're gonna right click on this slide and then we're gonna click duplicate slide. And on the second slide, I'm actually going to change the image ratio one more time. Now this time, let's change it to three to four and then we'll exit crop mode and then we'll click the black space or we can just press escape either way. And now we'll make this image a little bit smaller and then we're gonna insert the rest of the pictures that we have ready to go. So to insert multiple images, all we have to do is hold control or command and then we can insert multiple images. So I'm going to skip picture one since we already inserted that one picture, but I will show you with the other four images. I'll click insert here, and then you'll notice all of the pictures are loaded in. So next, let's make sure to crop all pictures to a three to four ratio. We're gonna click each image, and then we're gonna click crop. And we'll go with an aspect ratio of three to four, and then we'll change the ratio first. And then later, we're gonna adjust the height and width. Don't worry about that now. So I'm going to move all of the finished ones to the side just so I can easily select my uncropped pictures. And then now all the pictures you'll notice are cropped. So let's make the height of each picture match the height of picture one, just so everything's even. So I'm going to name this picture, picture zero, since I'll place it prior to picture one. And then I'm gonna move it to the left side of picture one. Now we're gonna place picture two on the right side and then picture three, and then finally picture four as well. So we'll have pictures zero through four for a total of five pictures in one line. And now we're going to align these images. So to do that, all we have to do is go to picture format. We're gonna hit align, and then we're gonna select distribute horizontally. So the spacing between these images you'll notice is now completely even. And just look how much nicer and more uniform everything looks. So now we're going to select these images. We're going to hold control or command. We're going to select all pictures except for picture one. We're going to use control and, and C to copy these. And then we're going to go back to slide one and then press control and V to go ahead and paste these. So we don't actually need to copy picture one because it's already on the slide. So now we're going to move to picture zero. We're going to move it to the left until it's completely off of the slide. And then we're gonna select pictures two, three, and four, and then drag them all the way to the right until they're completely off the slide. Now we only have picture one that's visible on slide one. And then the other four images you'll notice are hidden off screen. So what we're gonna do now is right click on slide two and we're going to duplicate it. Now we have slide three, which is exactly the same as slide two except we're going to make some changes to slide three. So we're going to delete pictures zero, one, three, and four, so that just picture two is left on slide three. 
Now we're gonna make the picture bigger so its width matches the slide. And then we're gonna to go to picture format. We're gonna hit crop and we're going to change the aspect ratio to 16 to nine. Now let's duplicate this slide three to create slide four. And on slide four, we're gonna make picture two a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna go back to slide two. We're gonna copy picture three from this slide. And then we're gonna paste that onto slide four. We're going to make sure to crop picture three to be the exact same size as the slide. And we're gonna use this nifty red guideline here to show us if the edges of the image actually align with the edges of the slide while we're doing the cropping. And now we're going to make the image a little bit smaller and we're gonna move it around to display the most attractive part of the image. And then we're going to duplicate this slide again making sure that picture three is just as large as picture two. Okay, now we're going to right click on the image and send it all the way to the back. Then we're gonna delete picture two and then we're going to go to slide two again and we're gonna make a copy of picture four and make sure to paste that onto slide five. So now we're gonna crop picture four to be the exact same size as the slide and then we're gonna head on over to the slide and make a copy of picture three and paste it now onto slide three. So we're gonna make picture three a little bit smaller and then move it off of the slide. And then we're gonna to go to slide five, copy picture four, and then paste it onto slide four. We're gonna make picture four a little bit smaller now. We're gonna move it off the slide completely and then we're gonna right click on any of our slides uh, to select all slides. And then we're gonna to go to the transitions tab. This is the key. So on the transitions tab, we're going to choose the morph transition. Now you'll notice the image changes in a super compelling way. It just adds a level of complexity to our presentation and it definitely beautifies our slides. Now let's focus on adding a little bit of text. We're almost done here. Let's add text using the text box. And then we're gonna add titles and text to each slide. So you'll notice a really, really cool number change as well. And I'll show you exactly how to create this animation effect too. So we're gonna start by inserting an arrow. We're going to position it and then we're gonna change its color to white just so that it's more visible on our slide. Now we're gonna insert a text box and we're gonna type the numbers one, two, and three. Then we're gonna choose a font. I'll just use the one that I downloaded from Google Fonts. Now we'll adjust the position. Then we're gonna duplicate the text box and then change the number. We're gonna duplicate it again and then change the number again. And then we're gonna insert an oval shape and then change the line color to white. And we're going to set the transparency to 33%. We're gonna select the serial number group and then we're gonna copy it and then we're going to paste it onto the next two slides. So now we're gonna go back to slide three. We're gonna make the serial numbers two and three a little bit more transparent and then we're gonna be careful to select the text and not the text box. Then we're gonna to go to text options. We're gonna click the first A button and under text fill, we're going to adjust the transparency to 60%. And then of course, we're going to apply the same setting to the number three. Now we're gonna to go to the next slide and change the transparency of numbers one and three. We're gonna move the circle all the way to the top of number two. And then on the next slide, we're gonna change the transparency of numbers one and two, and then move the circle to the top of number three. And that is the brilliance of the morph transition. It can make even just a simple number change eye-catching and completely increase your audience's engagement in your PowerPoints. They'll be totally zoned in into your visuals. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed giving it. And again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel at Fast PPT. We'll see you here soon.